Hello everyone, it's good to see you all back. Today I'm going to show you my Enzo build from the first Descendants, which sounds weird as I am a Destiny content creator, but I think it's nice we bring more versatility to the channel. So a quick question for those who have played the game, how many of you here have given Enzo a try for the Void Inset missions? Now how many of you here have the Supply Firearm Enhancer mod? Enzo is a pretty powerful descendant that only needs a few things to become the unstoppable when facing bosses in groups or on his own. If you want an Enzo that covers damage and survivability pretty well for endgame, then I'll be happy to show you what you need in today's video. So firstly, the mods. Enzo's main ability is to provide wide-scale support through his abilities, while also being heavily invested in weapons being used with thanks to his perfect supply passive effect. Since his first and fourth abilities have a knock-on effect to allies, it's important we invest heavily into these two areas with increased skill duration, skill cooldown, and the Supply Firearm Enhancer mod to boot. Doing so will allow us to take down bosses' health, like shown, a lot more faster. As starting with the most important mods to have, Supply Firearm Enhancer usage will increase mine and my team's damage by quite a lot and stacking with other weapons buff. It is crucial we are able to use this as often as possible, as this alone can make taking on bosses on our own or in teams a hell of a lot more easier over time. It's also important we are able to maintain perfect support, not only for the damage, but for the passive ammo regen, which can equal a higher DPS over time. Having multi-talented for the fast ability cooldown each time we use our abilities, enlightenment for a 15.2% max MP, nimble fingers, for a minus 25.6% skill cooldown, an MP conversion for a minus 36.5 skill cooldown are generally key to the build. This would give you an overall minus 68.2% cooldown for our abilities. So as shown, our supply firearm has gone down from a 20 second cooldown to a 5 second cooldown, while perfect support has gone down from a 90 second cooldown to a 23 second cooldown. It's important to note that multi-talented will be providing the most tools to build, as it encourages Enzo to use all of his abilities one after another. Duration-wise, skill extension for the plus 36.5% skill duration, and MP accelerant for the plus 20.5 skill duration and 3.7% max MP is highly recommended for the overall 57% duration. Although we can aim for higher, this should be enough when you take in mind how chaotic most fights can get and how you'll be moving around a lot. Supply Firearm will now have a duration of 19.5 seconds, which is much better than its base form. While Perfect Support is only 12 seconds, which may sound bad, but it's reasonably fine for the ammo regen and usability of taking down our smaller enemies. For increased survival, I would recommend having the HP Amplification mod for the plus 161.4% max HP, Increased HP for the plus 218.5% max HP and Spear and Shield for the plus 89.8% defense. Enzo's base stats as shown is pretty well rounded for all but his defense stats, which is good as we don't need to put too much into the area overall. Since defense is capped, shields don't offer too much and health is the general way to go, Investing, like shown, will provide the most amount of protection that I think is best for Enzo overall. Justice alone will grant us a 379.9% HP and 89.8% defense, which when we also include our external components with HP and defense, means we get a 26k defense and 11k health. Now Enzo can benefit from shields if you wish, as his third ability, Enhanced Combat Suit, will grant him shields upon activation. First, from a large amount, and then slowly refill after. With our current skill cooldown, we don't personally need to add something like increased shields to our build since we can activate as much as we like. Having a reduced MP cost mod like Maximize Conservation could be a great alternative to have, as it means all of our abilities costs will be much lower than current. Honestly though, I think sticking with what we currently have is enough when you add everything up, but the option to expand is always there. Lastly, for optional mods, I've added the mid-air maneuver mod just so I can launch myself out of danger much more faster. I've then added the focus on non-attribute mod for a plus 77.2% skill power which will be useful for increasing our explosive drone and perfect support damage. These two won't be pulling off crazy damage, but
but it does add up when you include other descendants with the drones and their own weapons to the mix. Now for the best weapons for Enzo, it would generally be anything that has a large magazine as a primary and heavy weapon. Heavy weapons is down to the player, as Enzo can work with generally anything as long as they are leveled up and are perfect sport active. A primary, I would recommend having the Enduring Legacy as it's one of the best DPS weapons in game and is perfect for someone like Enzo. As shown, we are focused on firearm attack, critical hit and damage to be the main factors for doing as much damage as possible in the build. This is the current best setup to run as it allows us to maximise our weapon special effect much more constantly and the damage over time is incredible to notice. I would highly recommend you follow as shown, but also keep in mind to have the expand weapon charge mod and mental focus mod as they both pair well with expanding your base ammo size and DPS over time. However, I have also seen players recommend the sharp precision shot mod instead as it will equal a much higher DPS compared to the latter. On top of that, the fire enhancement on top of that, the fire enhancement mod at max is also a good recommendation for activating a weapon special effect and also increasing DPS along the way. Although, it's actually recommended you don't add a fire enhancement mod at all and instead just add the fire attack weapon adjustment instead as this will still activate our perk and still give us enough room to expand further on. For the reactors and components, we have then added the following as shown. Firstly, my reactor has the Enduring Legacy mount and activated the non-attribute skill power boost, which is exactly what the build needs for overall strength. From here, we then have the skill cooldown bonus, which is great for the overall kit. But then, I have the fusion skill power, which is useless for our build. Ideally, a singular or dimension skill boost would be better for Enzo, since we are matching everything in his abilities. But also having a skill cost or duration up passive effect will also make the build pretty much stronger. External components, I then have the Annihilation and Bravery 2-piece set, as they both provide the best 2-piece options that I believe are suitable for Enzo. A skill duration goes a long way with making our abilities 1, 3 and 4 last a tad longer in grueling fights, while HP recovery and max shields aren't overall required in the kit, but when active, will make a noticeable change when surviving more lethal hits. I can also see the Slayer kit also being really good as a 2 or 4 piece, since its whole design seems to fit those who prefer to use their weapons a lot more than others. Lastly, I try and get the max HP and defense in Syndrix as these are the main important stats to have for generally any character. MP recovery and resistance in Syndrix are also a must have and I found them to work out really well for someone like Enzo overall. Now Enzo when built correctly and around supporting allies and himself, he can become one of the best support characters to rely on for endgame boss runs you have in mind. With his abilities to increase everyone's weapon DPS via his first ability, and then using his fourth to keep everyone's ammo supply up to max, he can single handedly carry a team to victory with little effort evolved. On top of that, he also works out really well on his own as his kit can provide that extra level of defense for tanking on more shots before reaching critical health. Compared to other descendants, Enzo is the only character in game that actively uses all of his ability to his advantage, which is recommended for how simple yet strong his kit can be once built right. With how we have designed him, he should excel in survivability, DPS, and wide team support that is easy to understand and maintain by all. Only critical downside to the build is the transcendence mod and its low drop rate, that generally not everyone can get. The build can still be done without it, but you will be missing the extra part of the build that really does make a noticeable impact. Nonetheless, I would say once you've gotten the mod, the build becomes one of the many best to run for covering pretty much everything you would want. Hopefully, this build guide will encourage you to try Enzo out some more, and also the other support characters as well. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below. While if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos, then leave a like and a sub while you're here. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.